Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we are back on the 1962 11 window. Um, it's back from uh, Dave up at Bogstrom and he's done the upholstery. And we're going to have a bit of a look inside here. Look at that beautiful headlining. He's done an amazing job. And have a look up there and of course we need to finish off these little sections now. So we've got a little bit of work ahead of us before this thing is finished. Uh, we've got the rear seat up there, got to put the carpet in, get all the glass in, and that's what I've got down over here. We've just got the um, the glass ready to go, so I think the first job I'm going to do today is just get the um, the rubber seals, uh, well, the, the rear pop-out ones, get those two in, and then we can start looking at um, getting the two pieces of glass that are permanent, not pop-out windows, get those ones pushed in. And a couple of little tricks along the way, how to get those in. Um, cool, so let's get stuck into it. We've, still, we've got um, seals, door, front door seals to put in. That is going to be an absolute <laughs> of a job, because it always is. But I have some uh, little tips on um, how to get that done. So, let's get cracking. Okay, so here's a little trick. Um, you get one of these little corking gun um, nozzles. Get yourself a little bit of um, bricky line or builder's string, whatever you want to call it. Drop it through. Like that. Take out about, uh, I don't know, six inches, 20 centimeters, something like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to point, push this into the gap where it's going to marry up inside on the frame. So I'll just see if I can show you doing this. Start off in the middle of the glass, up the top here. You might be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so you get this guy, pop it in, and get the string to go all the way around. You can see it's actually going inside the groove. Taking up the slack, flip it over gently, you don't want to lose the seal. Just be careful when you're going around the corner, you just don't want to disrupt the seal off the glass again and then you've got to start again when that's just did then. Once you come all the way around, release it, pop those like that, and now that's ready to go in, and we're going to pull it from the inside, which will bend the flap over the frame. And that's how you put these um, rubber sealed up windows into position. Now you can't put a bit of silicon on the rubber, just so it will push in and be a little bit easier. Take this over to the window.
I'll just show you. That's what it looks like when it's in. A bit of fly poo. Um, yeah, so it, it's got to be flush. And that rubber's got to just basically sit on the inside like that. When you're tapping it, use the palm. Don't use the fist, you'll break the window. And palm it like so. Palm it, palm it, palm it. And eventually it'll go in. So um, I'm only tapping on the window. But that's all in now. And now what we're going to do is grab the string from the inside. Pull the, uh, the, the seal. So at the moment that's just sitting there. If we come on the other side, you want to be obviously careful that you don't go and make that um, glass fall out because it's only just holding in here. So the idea is I'm going to use one hand on the back just as a safety. And look, if you've got a second person here, fantastic. They can just be holding and putting pressure on it. I don't. Um, I could get my wife to do it, but no, I won't do that. And then the idea is now, you're just going to start yanking. You've got to get it started first. And you want it to get... There we go. See how that just did that then? And this is where it gets interesting because... You can see... Be closer. You can see how now that's starting to lip over. And that's just by me pulling on the rope. Be careful that you don't tear the rubber. If you, if you pull it on the wrong angle, it will do that. But I'm putting a little bit of pressure on this as well. And every now and again, it'll get stuck. And you just need to put it, push a little bit on the glass. And like I said, two people would be better, but And sometimes it just doesn't want to go, so you've got to reach in and just give it a little, give it a little tap here. Right, so this is a, um, a little um, trimmer's tool. It's just some plastic, so it won't mar up your, um, your material or your rubber. And I just use this little guy to peel over that last little section. You don't want to use a screwdriver or anything like that because you will, you will do damage. So I'll just pop it under here like so. There we go. Alright, so that one was just being a bit difficult at the end, but all good. Um, obviously we've got to give this a good clean too, so it's just been wrapped up. One more uh, window over here, and we'll get him in. And um, then we can move on to the two pop-outs, bolting those in, and continue. Righto guys, so next thing we've got to do is put this um, long panel in here. And it actually just gets screwed along the top here. Um, I suppose just spaced out, you know, a couple down the bottom. And uh, yeah, I've just kind of loosely put the carpet in place because we've got to put that in and um, yeah, get that done and uh, yeah, get that screwed in. Welcome back guys, we're back here again, day two on uh, the fit out, and I've got Dad giving me a hand over here, he's this expert seal uh, putter in her, <laughs> and of course it gives you a workout when you've got to put those things in, but I've actually just done this one on this side, 
you can see the seal and lo and behold I have not had to do any um, grinding to the back of the rubber with the linisher normally you have to do that but for some reason I've put this one in and the door shuts perfect so I'm really happy with that I don't have to do any extra modifications so one thing that does happen with these splitties um, when the hinges here get tired uh, and you do go and put all these rubbers on and you shut the door the door will slightly uh, bend down and you can see here the swage line no longer lines up and that unfortunately that's just one of the things it's really difficult to get them to stay up um, you know I, I know my orange bus is the same deal you know so that it's just one of the things and I know from the factory even some of them weren't even lined up that good so um, the front here lines up pretty nicely, but yeah, the back's a little bit, little bit low. You probably do a little bit of adjusting to the hinges and bring it up again. Once the rubber's up the top here, uh, you know, get a little bit more supple and um, they haven't got as much resistance pushing the door down, you might get away with it. So anyway, that bit's done. Uh, we've got the glass in. They need a good clean. They're full of fingerprints. Um, got the pop-outs. The back pop-outs are in. In the back here, I have also added just the uh, sections there and the back seat, we're getting ready. We've still got to do the bulkhead um, cover. I'll put the carpet in, but yeah, she's coming along. We're almost almost on the home stretch. I reckon today we'll have it all uh, buttoned up and finished and then we can do a couple of test drives on it. back to the channel guys so what we're doing today this is going it's going to its new home so we're all finished we'll show you a quick rundown on it uh, it's going to have a special permit to drive on the road today uh, to go and get the roadworthy and all that but um, yeah we're all complete with it 
couple of uh, two and a half years of uh, restoration and uh, she's finally finally finished I'll just turn off the motor so you can have a good look inside here all this beautiful work as anybody knows you know with these split screens there's a lot of work in in restoring them and getting them to this you know fl former glory everything is ready to rock and roll so it's going to have its maiden voyage today and uh, yeah happy happy days you can see that nice nice paint job on it not bad for a backyard job and uh, you know I, I ca have to keep reminding people I don't do this for a job I'm not you know I'm a surfboard maker and this is just something I do on the side you learn those skills from you know 25 30 years of surfboard making and um, you know you just transfer it over to this kind of work so yeah a lot of people think I actually do it as a you know have a garage and now I'm doing this from home so this is just you know restoring these combis at home and uh, and getting them out into the uh, into the world saving another one so yeah this one's um, off to its new home so it's been a good journey I mean obviously there's always issues with them uh, when you're restoring them you know I think you can see it's really happy with the job on it and it's come up beautiful you know original colors so that'll be the final video on this uh, 62 micro bus sad to see her go I know the, the little ones like oh it's leaving today I said yep she's off to a new home yeah we'll start up another project so you know I've still got a few on the go but we do have another one coming something different so you'll have to stay tuned for that one and remember to put the subscribe button and the bell notification because then you won't miss, you know, the next resto that's going to come. So, you know, it's only a click of a button, so it's pretty easy. Awesome, guys. All right. Well, uh, I'm signing off on this one. So, awesome. And, uh, yeah, good times. Peace.